High of 35 today, tomorrow 64, and then on Saturday, ice pellets, low of 7. Yeah, it's cold, but it's not as cold as some places in the United States. That space heater I just showed you does not heat the garage. That just kind of takes the edge off the cold here. And I also use it to warm my hands and feet <laughs> to keep warm. So let's take a look at uh, my work with these Anderson type connectors. And I'm gonna run some still photographs of my work yesterday. And then I'm gonna take the camera and I'll show you uh, real close up what it looks like on the box. So, thanks. Yeah, it's just a little bit too chilly to open up the door for more light. So I set up the LED shop light. I'm gonna shine it on the box here and we'll get in real close and I'll show you a few things on this box. All right, take a look at this. I had to take off this handle here and this electrical outlet here to get the uh, jigsaw in here and cut this hole out. And I put the little wire rope connector protector deal on here and there is the Anderson type 50 amp connector and here's the cable for the PV wire that I made and I also have a um, I ordered some heat shrink for this to make a boot for this so this will look a lot better and this just plugs in just like that that turned out really good. I had the L bracket on the outside and it just didn't look right. So I moved it on the inside. So let's take a look on the inside and I'll show you some of the wiring. I'm holding this shop light here so we can see what's going on. I used some uh, screws and small nuts on that L bracket. And then I bolted the L bracket with the Anderson connector onto the box with quarter 20s and with you know the um, the nuts that are lockable so don't have to worry about it and then i shortened these wires here to fit into the solar charge controller and tin the ends on there to uh, make them fit perfect also i had to sh cut out a little half moon here so i can get the power tray lifted in and out without banging on these wires too much Let's show you the uh, other side. Right on the other side of the box here, this is the SAE connector I had for the solar input. And now it is wired for the battery tender 24 volt charger to plug into directly to the batteries. Right, here's the back side of that SAE connector. I've got these wired right into the battery, the Trojans down there. I had it, you know, color matched up real good. Uh, the red was on the positive, the black was on the negative. And when I plugged in the battery tender, it had a reverse polarity signal on there. So this Chinese made power outlet socket deal is wired backwards. And luckily I found that. All right, let's plug in this Deltran 24 volt battery tender to this socket here. Nice and snug fit. I'll plug it into the wall here. There it goes.
goes into charging. All right, let's take a look at the bolts. The batteries were already pretty much topped off when I plug that in. So it goes up to 29 and 0.3 or so volts. And it says, okay, looks like you're fully charged. Then it backs down to 26 some odd volts, which is actually about perfect for these Trojan 31 AGM overdrive batteries. All right, guys. Hey, thanks for watching. I want to do a video shout out to Mr. David Armstrong and his YouTube channel. Take a look at his channel. What he has done is amazing, amazing, amazing. He's got a multi-video series on his do-it-yourself off-grid 48-volt system. And he takes you essentially from cradle to grave on everything he's done to build this. Here's his first video right here, number one, design and permitting. If you really want to see how it's supposed to be done, I would definitely take a look at this channel. And the quality of the video is excellent. And narration is great. And it's one of the best series I've seen on YouTube for do-it-yourself off-grid design, engineering, and implementation. So I'll be following this channel real closely. And I really enjoy watching his videos. So... All right, guys. Hey, thanks for watching. Stay warm. Stay warm. And uh, we'll see you next time in the next video.